What is amazing ninjas, today we are going to be taking a look at the Star Wars Black Series The Mandalorian Moff Gideon from The Mandalorian. So let's take a quick look at the box. So here's the front of the box with the figure. Here's the side of the box with some cool artwork of Moff Gideon and a TIE Fire in the background. I think that's really cool. And here we have the back of Moff Gideon. Uh, I'll let you guys take five seconds to read that. Pause the video if you need more time. You guys read it? Good. We get it. This is number eight from the Mandalorian line. And a bunch of blobby blah stuff no one cares about. Same thing for the bomb. And here's the side of the box. Alright, that's, that's all for the box. Let's get this figure cracked open. I'm going to need a minute to get him out of the box. So, here is Muff getting out of the packaging. Let's take a look at his details. First, look at let's look at his face. Like I say, it's a pretty, pretty good face. Like, pretty accurate to how the show goes. Some very nice details for the hair. And, you know, overall, it's a pretty good face for Black Series. And we're looking at his armor, kind of looks like, you know, kind of like the Death Trooper's armor. Typical Imperial armor, but with more buttons and stuff. Here, there's a little square peg. I'll get to that in a sec. We have some sculpted wrinkles here with the red line going down. And here are his gloves. Fingerless gloves. We do have a holster for his pistol, and he has a pretty cool belt wrapped around him with red and black. Next, we got some sculpted pants with some nice sculpted lines here, and bunch of his boots which actually have some detail to them, like a bunch of straps going down, which I guess is pretty cool looking. Some wrinkles in the back of his boots, and here is the bottom of his feet, and not much going on there. But overall, I think that this is a pretty well detailed figure for Black Series. Now, let's move on to the accessories. Moving on to the accessories, we got a few stuff that come with Moff Gideon. So first, let's start with his little tiny pistol. It's a normal, it looks like an actual gun except for this little barrel piece. But the handle does look like an actual, maybe like a Glock. Focus. There we go. But yeah, the handle of it kind of makes it look like a Glock. And it has a little scope on top. The way you get on. Let's see if you can hold it on. Good. He could hold on to his pistol pretty well. <laughs> Alright, uh, damn this he on the bright side he has a tight grip on it so there's no way it's gonna fall off while he's holding the gun. And you could just slide in his pistol like this. There we go, in his holster. Next, we get his cape. Which has a little square peg in it. And see the square hole? You just put it there, put it together. Like so, align the hole with the peg. Oh, 
Hold on. It took a little bit of finessing, but I finally fit in the cape. The best thing I would do, I would recommend you to do, is fold the little flaps, fold the flaps back like this. Find the hole and the peg, put it in, and just give it, give it a good push with your thumb. <clears throat> Otherwise, it won't stay on. See how it's sticking out. Just align it and give it a good push. There we go. Why won't it stay in? <sighs> ah. Oh, now it wants to fit when it's off camera. What? Whatever. The cape isn't all that cool anyway. But here is the best accessory ever. The dark saber. The handle... Oh, first, let's start with the handle. It looks awesome. Unlike any lightsaber hilt ever seen before, it's more squarish. Kind of like a handle for a katana. With some nice sculpted details here. I gotta say, this is a fine looking handle, a hilt. And here we have the dark saber blade, which does look like a katana. The way it's shaped and angled looks really cool. So it's black on the in inside with white on the outside. And this looks fantastic. Is there any way for him to holster it? Mm, nah. Is, is there? Nah. Can it come apart? Yes, it can. So you could have it. De deactivate it. And I gotta say, this is one cool looking lightsaber. It's a, cause it's a dark saber. Whoever wields this can rule over Mandalore. And the Mandalorian people. Now, let's move on to articulation. So, for articulation, his head can't move up n not very much, nor down at all. Side to side, barely any. 360 head, head swivel. Arms could go out. About this much. Not very high. He's got single jointed elbows with a s elbow swivel. Yeah, he has a wrist swivel with a wrist hinge. Does he have a wrist hinge? Uh, I mean, very little. That's about it. Uh, ab crunch. Let's see. He could go forward. Not very much. He could go back quite a bit. Side to side movement. pre already. Not the best. He could do 360 here. His legs could kick out about this much. Could kick, could kick out about that much. Pretty far back, actually. And single jointed knees with a knee, with a knee swivel. His boots, his toes could go down all the way up. Up, uh, they could go up a pretty good amount. And some decent ankle pivot. <sighs> so now let's move on to final thoughts. 
Moving on to final thoughts, honestly, I'm less than impressed. I was hoping that this figure would be, like, amazing, like my Mando figure. But, it just, it just didn't hold up well. Uh, the head and arm articulation is not that good. And the cape doesn't even want to stay in the hole, and it's a pain to put on. And it doesn't even stay on. I mean, the dark saber looks cool, and that's probably the best part of this figure. I might give it to my Mando. Overall, I mean, I give it a. I mean, the face and detail, the details look all right, but I might have to give this a eight out of ten, just or seven out of ten. Because the arm articulation, the head articulation, and words were not really good. And the cape is a total pain to put in. Like, why are companies still giving us soft rubbery capes or, like, plastic capes when soft cloth capes are way better and far superior than this? If any figure companies are anyone who works for figure companies watching this, for your figures use cloth capes because they work so much better than these hard plastic kinds. Kind of like the General Royal Grievous cape. That that cape is amazing. This isn't a good cape. I'm I mean overall this is a great this is all a pretty okay figure. And it, if you wanted to complete your Mando collection, then yes, this figure is highly recommendable. Now you're probably wondering where I got this figure. Always, I always get it from Mr. Wayne's Pop Culture Collectible. I'll try to link their this their information in the description below. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, be sure to hit the like. Comment down below what you think of this video and of this figure. And let's... And subscribe to the channel. Let's try to hit 400 subscribers before the end of this month. Anyway, guys, that's about it. And I'll see you guys next time.